Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back again. I've been meaning to do this one, but I keep forgetting. Anyway, I, I just wanted to show how Allah is the God of repetition. You know, I guess they say the more you repeat it, uh, the more people uh, will understand. Well, anyway, um, I found this really interesting website. And it's called the Quran Analysis. And they do a lot of good things in here. I mean, you know, it's got all different kinds of statistics. Word frequency, right? Let's take a look at word frequency. How often a word is used. Okay. Look at that. I mean, this is just lovely. Okay. But the two that I really like is the repetitive verses. I mean, I don't know if you've paid attention, but when you read the Quran, you start to notice patterns of repetition. Well, apparently they've done this with it, some kind of a logarithm. And here we see that in the Quran, there are 51 verses that are repeated throughout the Quran. 5577 is repeated 24 times. I mean, Allah really wanted you to get the words that, uh, so which of the favors of your Lord would you deny, okay? And then number two is 7749, whoa, that day to the deniers, 10. And then we got 26, 191, 8, and then it goes 7, you know, and then it goes down, and then in goes down to two. Obviously, you know, two is the least number because after that is one. So you see here the Quran, I mean, if the Quran didn't repeat itself, could you imagine how small the Quran would be? I think about 30, 40% of the Quran is just repetition. You know, you twist the words a little here, twist the words a little there, and you know, uh, what can you say? And then I, I, I like the uh, repeated phrases or substrings. And look at that. There are 24,674 phrases. Uh, look at that. 196 times that phrase is repeated. Hey, you know what? I'm going to try to do something here. Let me... Okay, this isn't going to work, so I'm going to have to go up here. Uh, reload this page to use extension. Okay, let's reload the page. Let me see if I can use the extension here. Uh, okay, come on. Let's translate the page. Do, 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 do. Okay, look at that. Look at that. So we got the phrase, God is, repeated 196 times. Who believed? 182 times. In earth. 170 times. Oh, yeah. 142 times. Heavens and earth. 133 times. Who disbelieved? 130 times. Oh, you who? 92. You who? Hey, it sounds like a drink. You who? I think that was a chocolate drink. 92 times. From before. 92 times. People that they got faded. I don't know what that means. 89 times. Oh, you who believe, 89 times. Of God, 88 times. Everything, 85 times. Now, my understanding is everything in Islam does not mean everything. They have some exclusions. Now, I don't know what the difference is without God, without God. Uh, I don't know. 70 and 71. Uh, I, I think in the Arabic, uh, there's a slight differences. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect book from Allah where uh, Allah just repeats sh stuff. He repeats phrases. He repeats verses because Allah's got to fill in the space. You know, you can't have uh, empty space in the Quran. So you got to figure out what to do with those empty spaces. So why not repeat it? But I thought there was something uh, something interesting here. I had started doing some some research. Let me see. Of course, I'll have to blow that up. Problem versus. Let me see. Uh, repetitive. I call it. 
my repetitive shit. Right, let me blow this bad boy up. Let's blow it up to about 150. Okay, let me see. How does it look? How does it look? Okay. Well, this is what I was working on. Apparently, uh, this has to do when the angels were told to prostrate to Adam. If you notice that um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six times we are told when Allah told the angels to prostrate. I, I mean, you'll see that there's little differences. And when we said to the angels, prostrate to Adam, then we said to the angels, prostrate to Adam, and then we go back and when, and when we said to the angels, prostrate to Adam, uh, 61, 50, 116, and 34 seem to repeat itself. Now there are some differences towards the end. And then we come to uh, chapter 38, 71 to 74, when your Lord said to the angels, you know, I mean, seriously, how many times, how many times do you need to be told that Allah told the angels to prostrate to Adam and that Iblis didn't prostrate? But you see, the problem is Iblis wasn't an angel and the command was for the angels. Iblis was a jinn. So why would he uh, obey a command that wasn't for him? So ladies and gentlemen, just a little short video to show you that, you know, Allah needed to fill in the gaps. So he repeated himself over and over and over. Well, anyway, that's it. My pizza is getting done. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, share, hit the bell. You know, you know the drill. Buy me a cup of coffee. I'm running out of coffee. Alhamdulillah.